arrived. We are finally on our way to make a stop at our land in Tuxpan. Been here over two weeks and just have not had the time to get out there and now we're finally doing it on a Sunday. So we'll enjoy the cruise out there then. part here. Getting through the traffic. Coco, oh, mira, cocos. Tu, tu no necesita. Ay. Get behind the old junk truck with the tires hanging off the side there. No brake lights. That's just lovely. And... This is also fun, watching out for traffic. Because there is like nowhere to... Yeah, we got a truck. Okay. Swing it through. junkyard here. It looks like they're developing it. It's a new subdivision. Yeah, that's nice. So that's something new. Oh, got the police will just hit some potholes. Nice machine guns on top. <laughs> okay, got it both ways. The highway, the, black, uh, the highway to Tuxpan. And here's the bridge coming into Iguala. We paved this all, I think, a year, year and a half ago, and I wish they'd work on the road because the road is not much better. Tuxpan bus. And the entrance to the, the state police station. I don't know what that guy's doing, but get around them. Really 
nice scenery over here. high or they just cleared the brush. I think that's what it is. They cleared the brush. Yeah, so you can see the lake a lot better now. Wow. Yeah, they cleared all this brush. That's great. All the best. You couldn't see the lake from here. Now all that brush that was blocking it is cleared out. Everything's all... Ugh, growing up. And here's our land. One year later, everything is seriously overgrown. Wow. Whoa, is, something is dead over here. Yeah, there is something dead. Holy crap. Huh. Wow. I'm okay. Well, let me check this out then. Air well, no, because it drowns out my voice. Okay, here's our land. Coconut trees are still there. Birds flying around, making nests in them and stuff. Our land is seriously overgrown. Looks like our trees are doing good. And our pile of rock, which we had delivered a couple years ago, is getting overgrown. Yeah, at least our fence posts are standing strong. I think uh, last year or year before, they got knocked over. We're not sure if it was humans or animals, but uh, yeah, they're pretty, pretty stout now. But yeah, our land is seriously overgrown big time. Our palm trees are doing good. So those have been doing well. We got another one over there by the septic tank. I'll take a walk over there as I get through these spines and there's our coconuts. Somehow they got outside here. Yeah, coconuts still in the tree. And you gotta watch out for all these little spine bushes. That's what's growing up on our lot. At the same time, that's good because, oh wow, ants, that's an ant trail, probably Mexican army ants, but yeah, it keeps trespassers off our property when this thing is overgrown like this, so there's our septic tank looking dry, and our other palm right there, thing is looking good, thing's growing up fast. And I gotta walk around all these little spine bushes here to. Yeah, you know, these damn things got some serious needles on them, man. They'll scratch the crap out of you. Holy crap. Okay. Now, this, I believe, is some sort of, I don't know, bean pod. Uh, I think it's a delicacy here in Mexico. And it looks like it's got a few seeds on it. And. Our other coconuts. This is my brother-in-law's property. Maybe one day we'll buy this, add it to ours. And there's a coconut tree that belongs to a sister-in-law. So, another palm bush. Sun's getting ready to set. But, uh, yeah, finally making it out here. Can't stick around too long. Uh, the sun's going down. 
And there's a lot of critters out here. I'm out here in my sandals, and there are scorpions around. We've run across them in the past. You'll probably see them in my previous videos. Yeah, there's a stench of death around here. I don't know, something died. Man, I don't know what, whatever it is, I don't see the carcass, but it, either a horse or a wild bull, who knows. Yeah, we've got live music playing off in the distance. And here's our Durango. So coming back around, call this the Tamarindo side, which theoretically, I look here, this side would be the south side. The side with the road is the east side. The other side where the septic tank is is the north side, and then where our well is over there is the west side. And look, we got a stray dog. What's up, Spot? Rover, whatever your name is. Yeah, the wife wants to go. So Quick update on our land, we finally got out here. So, tamarindo trees looking good. And coconuts, we still got plenty of them. And I think we leave this land grown the way it is. That'll maybe keep trespassers away from stealing our coconuts, so. Yeah, not a whole lot we can do, but maybe, maybe in the next year or two, hopefully maybe we can start to uh, do something with this land, maybe start building our vacation home and in a sense our dream home actually because it's much cheaper to build a dream home here in Mexico than in the States, that's for sure. Wild birds flying everywhere. <laughs> yep. Well, cool. Glad to get out here finally. There's another stray dog down there. So, yeah, I better go. The wife's not happy. She wants to get going, and there's mosquitoes biting me right now. So I'm going to get out of here. And until probably next year, whenever I can get back down, we'll do another update. All right, we'll turn around. <clears throat> there's no exit here, so I just got to kind of... Just try to be careful when I see my palms. You want to see your palms, then? Okay. Yep, I can turn around here and I'll roll the window down. We'll get one quick look at our cocos. Two, three. Our palms are doing good. You see them? They're growing up pretty good. Yep, there's that stench of death. So, man. Yeah, roll your window down. That's, that's strong. Tell you what, I might go ahead and drive down just to the where the fence is and check out the scenery. An old abandoned house over there. I'm surprised they haven't demolished that. I know it's been for sale. And this is Lake Tuxpan. Restaurants over there. Yep, restaurants across the way, which we've eaten at several of them, and very, very good food. Seafood. Yep. Yeah, there used to be a road here, they blocked it off. So now it's just a dead end street. And Maybe somebody buy a book for Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yep, yeah. so now you can see all the way to the lake. View. Yeah, that's good, I like this. I'm glad they cleaned this up. That's excellent. The montañas. Yeah, the mountains, looking bonito. All right. Let me leave here. One day. One day. Like a vacation home, I'm sure. All right. Mm-hmm. Muy bueno. Sopa de pescado. Yeah. We're gonna climb the nearby mountain. As a matter of fact, put this in four-wheel drive. All right. We are in four-wheel high. There we go. I feel it climb the mountain here, and, or the nearby hill, to get a better view of everything. I haven't done that in a while. Ugh. 
Yeah, the road's still here. Just have to drive around. Big hole you are in. Yeah, big hole I got around it. And we got a dog that I guess wants to run me. <laughs> okay. That's why I got a 4x4 four four Durango. Turn left. There we go. Okay. Turn right. Got some more dogs. be able to circle around but I think we can just go straight up here. Okay fine I'll back up this kind of rough looking. We'll circle around. I mean I've done this before but you know you want to be freaky eeky. Bandera's still up. That'll come down at sunset. I'll get a shot of that when I get to the top of the hill. Just un momento. Okay, and we turn left. there. And then we'll drive around. No. Yeah, people on motorcycles here, but not a big deal. And we're at the top. Stop it. And here we are. <laughs> Beautimus. <sighs> All right. So now we are on top of the nearby hill, and down there, where you see the coconut trees, is our land. There's a white van going to some place over there. Looks like the music's coming from that place right there in the dead center. And Lake Tuxpan, full view. Really nice area here. And every once in a while, the top of this mountain, you'll actually see some hang gliders that'll kind of glide down from the top and land somewhere near the lake. And to the west here is Iguala. And then there's the Bandera with the sun going down. Nice breeze up here. Man, it feels good. Yep, that's Iguala over there. So yeah, aside from the music, I mean, it's a real quiet, secluded area where we're at. And that's the pier there that goes out into the lake. Been on that. That's on one of my previous videos. Yeah. And this is looking towards the highway heading towards Acapulco. So that's the west. So yeah, we're looking, going south over there. Yep, nice breeze. Good job. The Durango did good. Four-wheel drive works perfect. 
Que bonito. All right, I guess we'll head on down. Yeah, that's right, that's a good point. All these trees that you see are mangoes. They grow wild around here. Famous Tuxpan for the mangoes. Yeah, Tuxpan is, that's right, they're popular for the mango trees. If you look all through there, the most of the green, but you see the lighter shades like the reds and yellows, those are all mango buds. But yeah, all those are mango trees. So, yeah, land. yeah, that's right, where the coconuts are, coconut trees right there, that's our land. So we have no, no mangoes on our property. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but we got plenty of trees where you can just get the seeds and we'll have our own. Yeah, tamarindo, coconuts. We had a lime tree and a banana tree, but I don't know if they survived or not. But tell Orphi the other lot is belongs to Tino and Orphi. Mm -hmm. the yep. All right. Well, let's go ahead and head on down then. Okay. I'm going down. I'm going to shift it to four wheel low right there, and we will go down the hill. Oh yeah. Uh, this Durango is fine. Okay, and navigate here. Yeah, no problem. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> yeah, we'll go ahead and probably shift out of four-wheel drive and back to two. Okay, yep, all right. Well, we're in two-wheel drive, so we don't need to be off-roading anymore. Yep. If you come to Mexico or decide to move here, definitely advisable to have a four-wheel drive vehicle because you will definitely need one. Okay. do is go by this restaurant. No one not here. Uh -huh, yeah. Let's go in inside the van to a restaurant. I want a fish. Right now? See? Ah, uh, bueno. Well, that was fun. Hope you enjoyed that adventure.